right, y'all. What is up? What is up? It is Thursday, August 8th, and I am headed to a dispatch order. It is almost 7 o'clock in the morning. It's about 6.45, and I'm taking advantage. School is still out for another week or two. So uh, these type of orders I will not be doing when school's in session. Traffic will be a absolute nightmare. So I'm excited today, man. Uh, I did something this week that is gonna help me make even more money and I'm gonna share it with you. So I was just thinking about my channel and uh, I noticed that, you know, the more success I have, the more people that uh, are jealous and envy me, they like to come on the channel and, and say what they gotta say. Uh, just know that I am never going to change. I love what I'm doing. I love local gig work. I don't want to do what you're doing. That's one thing. And second thing is you're not going to discourage me. Whatever you say, it's not going to discourage me. Um, I try to remove negative comments, uh, people that are never going to say anything good or helpful. I get them off of my channel because I don't want them to discourage uh, newcomers. I get a lot of newcomers looking into this. So anyways, I'll explain that more. That will be part of my Real Talk Episode 3. But we ain't gonna focus on that, man. I am doing big things and I cannot wait. I got so much to share. I'm just gonna share one thing that I did this week that is definitely gonna be helpful. Go! Go, little man! Mama right there, go! Uh, Alright. I got, uh... Mama right here. She crossed the street. Didn't hold the baby hand. The baby running up in the bushes. Should've followed your mama. All right, y'all, pulling up to Home Depot. I've been going to this Home Depot a lot, man. Look at the day laborers. They ready to work. You give them like $20, they help you. All right, so I've been coming to this one quite a bit. I am so glad Dispatch added Home Depot, man. It's just every, every customer that uh, these gig apps add, it's just more work in your market, so. I love it, man. I love it. A few moments later. All right, y'all. We are loaded up. That was the fastest order I ever had. It was already at the desk. Uh, lady printed out the paperwork. I was in and out in like two minutes. So we loaded up. We got 12 cans of paint. We are driving a total of one mile. I'm put my seatbelt on. So I do have a, a pallet from yesterday, and uh, I need to get rid of it. So I'm probably just gonna get rid of it over here. I forgot to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, it's. I think it's Lowe's pallet, but I'm gonna get rid of it back here. We'll dump it over here. Somewhere. Somewhere back here. All right, y'all, so if you ever stuck with a pallet, all of the Lowe's and Home Depot's, they always have a stack of pallets, usually in the back of the store. So I just dumped mine right there. All right, man, let's go get this delivery. All right, y'all, I'm here. Uh, it's this apartment complex right here. The customer is on his way, and I'm just going to follow him to where this paint needs to go. So he said he's about uh, two or three minutes out. All right, y'all, it's been about five minutes. The customer just pulled up in that green truck right there. Uh, he just ran inside to grab some keys. So uh, I'm just going to follow him wherever I need to go, get this unloaded, and we'll be on the way. All right, customer just told me to pull along the side over here. And uh, he's going to meet me at the walkway. <clears throat> awesome. So, I'm going to unload from my side door, so I'm going to just flip around. Yeah, I think it's going to be right here. Oh, yeah, here he comes. He got a little cart. 
All right, man. Let's get this thing unloaded. He's on call, but oh, okay. he's, well, he's a little older than I am. Gotcha. So. I figure I'll be at 150 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's some serious hours. Yeah, he'll be at 160. Hey! <laughs> 160 hours of work. Ooh. There's money in here. There's money to be oh, made. Oh, sure, yeah. There's, There's money, money out of here. My oh, goodness. <laughs> I think next year I'll be going to uh city of San Antonio, like oh, uh, corporate clients and shit. Like where they do uh, inspections, oh, like apartments and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, since I do HVAC, I'm going to go get my HVAC license. Oh, there you go. Stepping up. Yeah, that's cool. Because yeah, as I get older, bro, I don't want to be Right, all the labor, yep. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> all right, y'all, just finished that delivery. Pretty easy. Uh, I just got another order, so I'm headed to another dispatch order. Uh, I think I'm picking up from Sherwin Williams. So it's probably gonna be Sherwin Williams to another Sherwin Williams. Um, so me and uh, this guy, the maintenance guy, we were talking, and um, he uh, he said he's worked 150 hours a week. Uh, and he said his partner's got 160 hours a week. Um, that is absolutely insane. There's no way in the world I would work that many hours. I don't care what the pay is. He said the pay is good, but you know, that's just no life. No life at all. He leaves He leaves at 11 o'clock at night and he's got to be back here at 7 in the morning. And uh, he's doing a lot of lot of work, a lot of labor and all that stuff. So anyways, good thing he's, he's getting his uh, HVAC license. Uh, he's moving up. He's going to be supervising and doing like apartment inspections and stuff. So happy for him with that but right now man he has no life uh me personally work i i, I want to enjoy my work i want to make money but i want to have a family life too and this, that's why i love what i do man it's just when i talk to people like that i just i don't even know what to say like i just can't imagine working 150 hours a week that's insane so anyways uh let's go get this order man i don't want to dwell on that i'm happy i ain't got nothing to complain about All right, y'all, pulling up to Sherwin Williams. We was only about, uh, took about 10 minutes to get here. So it's pretty close, and I think this is a short, short drive too. Shouldn't be a very big order. Do these all day.
All right, y'all, we're gonna make this a quick drop off. Just gonna run it in and be on our way. I don't have anything pending. Uh, I do have a dolly. Damn, stuff loud. I do have a dolly at 11, so uh, I got about uh, two and a half hours to spare. So hopefully we can squeeze one more in. But I'm about to let y'all know what I did in, uh, two days ago that's gonna make me some more money. So I just got another order. These are the type of orders that come to me all day and I turn them down every single time. Some people just do them, but I don't. It's not worth it. <laughs> 